What's up guys, this is Terry from NetcoGuys.com and today I'll be showing you a crosshair placement video on DE Season. So first I'm going to start off with uh, a halls. So as a terrorist going into a halls, you usually have uh, pretty easy control up to here. So once you get to these steps, you're walking up. Um, you're going to be ready for this guy holding the corner right over here. And then after you clear that, you're going to be ready for over here. Usually they don't really play in these spots, like rarely you'll catch someone here, here, but they can definitely be there if they're getting pushed in from cat and they have to back up. So clear that corner and then clear this one. And then once you clear that, um, you get ready for upper, for a guy upper. They can't even be sight, but I would be focused on upper, then I would flick to down, down over here if they were there. So I'd be ready for upper. Then after I clear upper, you start getting out, coming out more wide. Pretty common spot is someone sitting over here, or a more common spot is someone even here, playing like this. So you clear out the upper, and then you peek wider and get ready here, and then completely clear this here. And then once you're coming out eight halls, um, your team is of course coming up cat, but depending on if you have spawn smoked off, They'll be ready for sight and spawn, so you just come out looking for spawn and then transfer to sight if they're there. So you clear spawn and sight. Your teammates on cat will be clearing sight. Um, there can be a guy on the roof. If you're if you're feeling like you got the kills early and you got the sight early, you can come out and clear the roof. But I, if you take eight halls and you got control of the sight, I would just chill here. So just hold for upper, hold for spawn, smoke it off, and wait for them to retake. So that's for a house. Um, I'll explain mid control in a second, but if you're taking a from cat, um, you're gonna try to be ready for a bucket. So first, you're gonna peek here, and there's probably gonna be an opera here. So you need to either smoke that off or jump across and bait a shot, or quick peek it, shoulder peek it. Um, once you get past him, clear out bucket over here. There could be a guy sitting in this corner. Um, at that point, you should definitely have spawn smoked off, so you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to take the set. So, uh, after you clear this corner, I would come out wide and get ready for a guy sitting here. But first, um, get ready for like sight and upper. And then after you like take a glance there, come out wide, clear this, and then I would get ready for like over here. So then I'd be walking into the site. I wouldn't really worry about it here because it's spammable and you can see them if they're here. Um, I'd be looking towards upper and get ready for a guy to peek you from sight. They could be hiding in the box and just waiting so like they can come out any second. But I'd be more focused on like horseshoe because it's the most common spot in it. Um, I jump in, maybe look from over here. But honestly, after I take the sight, like there's usually a guy playing sight or something or spawn. If I can isolate the guy sight or spawn, the other guy's most likely a horseshoe and I'll leave my a halls guy to take, get that kill. So. After you like, clear your close, then come out, take a look upper, have spawn smoked off, you can even come out and make sure the site's clear. But there's going to be a guy sight or spawn for the most part. And then your horseshoe guy is playing A halls. Your teammates at A halls can trade the kill for him. Um, and after that, it should be a pretty easy, easy A take. A take. Uh, there's not many spots to play in A. Uh, they can play in this pit even, now that I think about it. You can clear the pit, make sure, I mean you'll see him, it's not like something you have to clear, you'll see him when you're coming out. So be ready for him as well. Uh, but there's not many spots today to be honest, like, you can play back here, behind the pit. You can play in the site, hiding. Um, you can play spawn, opping. Uh, or horseshoe really, like those are the main spots. Maybe like something over here. Uh, of course you can find this corner or you can boost on the roof. You can also see them if they're on this part of the roof, but if they go over here, you can't see them. Uh, but those are the main spots today. So let's move on to mid control. Mid control is pretty simple as well. Um, there's only like one place they can come out when you're getting mid control, which is that connector. So when I wide peak mid, I would be ready for the guy sitting there with an op. But for the most part, we'd be smoking off mid connector. So mid control should be pretty easy from T side. Um, if you smoke off the connector and it lands over here, 
Um, they're gonna have to run through that, and if they do run through that, you should have the advantage. People like to run out connector and cross the jail, so that's something you should be ready for when taking mid control. But when you come out, get ready for them to come through the smoke, or get ready for them to be in the connector. Or even if they had a good spawn, they can jump into the pit. So even be ready for that. If you have a bad spawn, they have a good spawn, they can be in the pit, maybe on this box. But mid control in the start of the round is pretty simple. Just focus on connector. They can push cat if you're not having someone watch it. So also be ready for a push cat. It's pretty common for someone to push up cat, try to shoot you from the side. So maybe have a teammate post up on that from the steps over here. Or even get closer from the door and watch you from here. But mid control is pretty simple for the most part. So let's move on to B. Um, I'll start off with uh, lower B here. So you're coming into the B bomb site. Well, I'll start off with taking the lobby first. Um, for the most part, people don't really go aggro at B. If they smoke it off in the beginning, they might play aggro. But after their smoke clears, they're usually going to back off. So when you're coming into B, it depends on if you're going fast or slow. If you're going slow, you obviously have to take the time to clear everything here. But if you're going fast, there's not going to really be anyone in here. So I'm assuming you're going like... Well, I'll show you how to clear it either way. Um, I wouldn't really, like there can be people playing here, but I'm not really worried about it. I really like, it's really unexpected. But if you're coming in, I would clear here and then get ready for someone on the top of these steps. After that, you're with your teammate of course, clear out this corner, take this control of this room. And once you have control of these two rooms, you can do an execution. So you have this room and this room. Um, also, when you're taking the lower side, people like to play up here, pretty common spot. Or they can push up and play over here. So that's something you should definitely be ready for. But I'm gonna start off with, um, I'll start off with upper. I'll start off with upper. So you wide peek this corner, get ready for someone here. And then after that, come out and over here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can go on top of that, but that's for another day. I don't, I don't think you can. Uh... No, you can't, okay. That was in the old map, sorry. Um, so you clear up there, and then clear this close corner. And after you clear those two spots, you should be good for the most part. And then you can do an execution, like smoke off, splash off. And as the upper guy, um, you're gonna be focused on this guy sitting jail, really. Sitting jail or the guy peeking upper. So you come out, you clear this upper, clear this upper, and then you come up the steps and get ready for jail. And then at that point, your teammate should be working the site. Um, get ready for the guy sitting jail and then come out wide and trade the kill site if needed. Otherwise, you should be good for the most part. Um, taking, coming from upper is pretty simple because you don't have that much to focus on. Your team is coming from lower than most of the work. So you can basically bait them. Just make sure you smoke this off or something and throw nades for them. And your main priority is going to be jail and maybe CT at that point. Of course, you're the kill if someone dies from the site guy. Maybe hop down and like, if there's someone under the pit, you can trade the kill. But taking from upper is pretty simple. Um, when you're coming from lower, it gets more complicated. So you have control of these steps. You're up to these steps. Um, what you're going to be ready for when you come out is, of course, right here. There could be a guy sitting there. Um, really common really common spot to sit under this uh, pit over here. So definitely get ready for that. Um, once you clear the pit, your next, pr your next priority is going to be up here for an upper or even an M4. Someone sitting up there waiting for you to come up the steps, playing like a retake passive sort of. Once you clear the upper, you have to focus on like spawn and sight. So um, you're definitely gonna need smokes on this hit. Like you need smokes from places. Like you can throw smokes through these windows, flash through these windows. So you're definitely gonna want to have things smoked off. If possible, get your upper guy to smoke off his upper part, and that'd be pretty helpful. So you wide peek and you get ready for spawn and jail. And then after you clear this corner, like these two spots, get ready for a guy sitting here. And then you come out, and then after that, it's honestly going in and trying to find out where they are and doing as much damage as you can so it's like a guy can trade. So if I was going in, honestly, I wouldn't really look here, but maybe have the upper guy coming out and try to help you out with that. Cause it's not very, like it's a one and done spot. If you're sitting here, you're gonna get one and probably die, unless we don't clear it, of course. Um, I would come out, and assuming that this is all smoked off, I would try to go right into their pit. Right into their pit, go to the site, 
Most of the time they're going to be peeking you though, so you'll find out where they are pretty quick. They're not going to just be hiding, so you'll probably get to spot them and know where to go, know where to look. But these are the common spots you want to clear out. And after that, it's just a trading game. Coming in and trading the kill. And clearing under the pit, making sure everything's clear. And uh, if you do that, make sure your teammate trades the kill, of course. It's very important. I've been stressing this out a lot. But that's basically taking from lower. You need to have good smokes and flashes to make it easy on yourself. So that's really important for your, like your crosshair placement. Like having good smokes is gonna help out your crosshair placement because you'll narrow down the spots they can play in. Um, that's basically how you take from lower though. Um, so I think I covered everything A, B, and middle. Um, that's basically crosshair placement for DE season. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Terry from NetcoGuys.com. Uh, I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.